Congratulations on your new Worth Barn Door Hardware Kit. This installation video is for both the 72 inch and 78 inch kits. Here are the included parts that came with your kit. These parts are listed by name and letter as you see here in your instruction manual. And here are the tools that we recommend for an easy installation. These are also listed in your manual. Now let's get started with step one and install the header board. Now the header board is the piece of wood that you will need to purchase separately and install above your doorway. You will need to install the header board to the wall studs and then you will attach the barn door hardware tracks to the header. We do not recommend installing the barn door hardware kit directly to the drywall. Now for the header board, you can use a piece of one x four or one x six pine. These are readily available at most hardware stores. The length of the header board is determined by the kit you purchased. For the 72 inch kit, we recommend a minimum length of a 72 inch header board. And for the 78 inch kit, we recommend a minimum 78 inch header board. All right, so the main measurement that you're gonna need for installing your header board is your door height plus one and three quarters of an inch. This measurement will be the bolt installation height of the hardware kit tracks. Marking this on the wall will help you determine where you will first install your header board to ensure that the tracks will line up with your header board. We will cover this more in a little bit. Now, if you're installing a standard 80 inch tall door and a standard 80 inch tall opening, you will first need to remove the top door trim piece as you see here. You will then cut the two side trim pieces horizontally as you see here. For the install in this video, we just used a standard 80 inch tall door that we purchased at a hardware store for our standard 80 inch tall opening. If your door is taller and the trim does not get in the way of your new header board, you can skip this step and leave the doorway trim up and installed. Next, you will want to find the studs in the wall and mark them with a pencil. It is very important that you attach your header board to the wall studs. So now we are ready to place the header board into position and be sure to overhang the board at a minimum of two inches on either the right or the left, depending on which way the door will be opening. Using a level, ensure that the header board is nice and level. And of course, attach the header board with wood screws into the wall stud. Now at this point, it is up to you to either stain or paint your header board to match your existing trim or your style. We are now ready for step two, installing the track. The track comes in two separate pieces and connect together with a puzzle piece like joint. We're going to start by installing one of the tracks. Ideally, start with the track that will be overhanging the doorway at two inches, the same way that you installed the header. Now you will want to measure from the floor the length of your door plus one and three quarters of an inch. We are going to want to line the tracks up at that mark in the center of the bolt hole of the track. Level the track and mark out all mounting hole locations with a pencil onto the header. Next, drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole using the marks that you just made on your header. Then place the spacers behind the track and attach the track using the mounting bolts and washers included with your kit. Welcome to step three, installation of the door hangers. Let's first start with the top hole of the hanger. This hole should be located one and one half inch from the top of the door and two inches from the side edge of your door. This is where the top bolts of the hangers will go. Now place the hanger square with the door and line up the top hole. You now will know exactly where to mark the second hole with a pencil. Now you're ready to drill both of the marks you just made with a 1 8 inch pilot hole. After you've done that, you will then drill the hole bigger with a 3 8 inch drill bit. Now you're ready to secure the hanger with the supplied bolts, washers, and nuts. And of course, repeat the process for the second hanger. Now you are ready to install the anti-jump discs. These discs are important for keeping your door securely on its track. First, center the anti-jump disc on the top edge of the door at least two inches from the inside edge of the hanger, as you see here. Screw the disc into the door with the supplied screws. Now be sure not to tighten the anti-jump discs all the way. You will need to be able to rotate them later. Repeat the process for the second anti-jump disc. Now that you've got them both installed, go ahead and rotate the discs towards the front of the door. 
Now carefully place the door on the track, making sure that the rollers are properly lined up. Now go ahead and rotate the anti-jump discs towards the wall. We are now ready to install the floor guide. First, start by sliding the door open as far as it can go on the track. Then measure one half inch towards the door from the door opening, as you see here, and draw a line on the floor with a pencil. This mark will be the center mark for the floor guide. Next, using the door, mark the inside and outside edges of the door onto the floor with a pencil. This mark will be where your screws will attach the guides to the floor. Special note, if attaching guides to concrete floors, you will first drill 5 16th inch holes into the concrete and install the provided anchors before attaching these screws. Now we are ready for the installation of the door stops on the track. Now go ahead and slide the door into its closed position. Now install the first door stop so that it touches the hanger and tighten with the supplied Allen wrench. Next, slide the door into its open position. We recommend that the door edge stays inside the opening at least one inch. And then go ahead and install the second door stop in the same manner. And finally, finish up the installation by installing the hole caps and the two small holes at the ends of both sides of the track.